right, this uh, Doodle World. Uh, I backed this on Kickstarter uh, a couple months ago. Uh, an NES game. Uh, I think it was made using NES Maker. But I guess it's kind of like a... Uh, a game maker style kind of library for making NES games. Uh, and you can see it's kind of like a Mario style platformer. Uh, the... Yeah, the guy who made it, uh, his daughter did the designing of it. Uh, she drew the characters and stuff. Uh, and I think she's like four or something. Uh, and you can see it's got the really nice like notebook style graphics. Harder here. I guess I kind of uh, underestimated it. Thought it'd be uh, pretty easy. Oh, this is the first time I'm playing it, by the way. Uh, I just got it. Uh, but he sent out the emails and stuff uh, just a couple days ago. Crayons, uh, you get a hundred of them, you get an extra life. Uh, yeah, and the uh, you can buy it on I believe it's itch.io right now, uh, and it comes just with the uh, a zip file with the ROMs. Like you're actually getting the ROMs; they're not uh, you know DRM'd or packed into some EXE or anything, uh, which is nice. Uh, and it's got the uh, it's got two different ROMs: one with the uh, mapper that the I think it's that the uh, Nest Maker uses like by default, and then uh, kind of another more uh, another older, uh, I think more like official mapper that was used on actual NES games uh, at the time. So it will have uh, better compatibility with uh, you know older emulators. Uh, Uh, and then there's also, uh, it's got a PDF of the manual that has, uh, you know, drawings and stuff in it. Uh, and then the soundtrack, well, uh, and I think it's like 10 bucks or so. Uh, and as part of the Kickstarter, I think, uh, some people got... Uh, actual cartridges. Uh, I don't typically have my NES hooked up or anything, so I just went with the ROM.
Uh, you hear it's got pretty nice music too. Uh, I think they they had a, another guy do the music. Uh, the yeah, the soundtrack is in the uh, the file as well. Okay, I don't know if that's a bug or uh, maybe a misplaced tile or something. Super Crayon uh, makes you invincible like the star in Mario. It seems to last a little bit shorter though. So, uh, I, I did get killed a couple times there at the beginning. Yeah, I'm not sure what that, uh, what's happening there. Uh, I didn't, maybe I'll, I don't know, I'll have to check the recording later just to see, uh, did I actually get the Crayon and it just didn't remove the, the tile. jump on these guys. Oh, okay. I kind of swerved. I wasn't intending to find out in case I didn't want to burn the life. Yeah, I guess it makes sense that, uh, that they're not pointy, so... I really do like the art style in this. It looks really good, and, uh... You know, it's very original, too. Uh... I don't think there was any games like at the time or since uh, on the NES that looked like this. And it really does look like, uh, you know, a, a notebook uh, drawing. Which is, you know, surprising that they were able to get away with, uh, you know, doing that on the NES. Yeah, I've never tried using Messmaker. Uh, I do like just uh, programming with the assembly language, though, so I'm not sure if I would, but uh, I guess it's good that uh, that exists and people can, uh, you know, make games more easily if they're uh, not a programmer or they don't want to be bothered with learning assembly language. It would be really cool though to have to like you know make your own NES game. I would like to try that sometime. Oh, on here. 
Okay, I thought maybe I could just bounce uh, repeatedly on his head. Oh, I'll sucker punch him there before he starts. I wonder if I can jump on these logs. I don't really want to risk the life though. size these uh, sprites are. They look like they're all uh, oh, 8 by 15? 8 by... Oh. After I finish, I might open up the uh, sprite viewer and just have a look at some of them. They do look nice and small, though, compared to, uh, you know, pretty much every game on the NES was like, you know, 16 by 16 or 32 by 16 uh, for sprites. Background, too, isn't as obviously uh, divided into, you know, 16 by 16 blocks, like, uh, a lot of other games. You know, like in Mario, everything is obviously a 60 by 60 block. I wonder what happens if I fall off there, if I lose a life or it just exits it. sucks. <laughs> Alright, uh, uh, stop recording and just get back to that spot. Go on.
Okay. Uh, I'm back here now. Uh, Alright, so I saved here. Uh, yeah, I was just checking with this. It's This window doesn't kill you. Uh, jumping above the window here does kill you. And jumping into it like this uh, gets you locked like that. Uh, hitting it from the side looks like you respawn just below where you die. Something. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly what's happening, but it looks like there's like a kill box uh, that I guess was accidentally placed right here uh, from the bottom of the window up to the, the roof. Uh, anyways, uh, that's kind of unfortunate, but uh, oh well. Uh, yeah, I think... I don't know, it, it's kind of stuff like that. I think if I was doing a NES game before I went and, uh, you know, uh, burned, burned all the ROMs and stuff, uh, I think it probably would have been a good idea to distribute the ROMs first and then get, uh, you know, playtests and stuff uh, done on it. Uh, and find that, rather than have it, uh, you know, b bugs and stuff burnt into the bomb. Uh, I guess that's not too big of a deal, though. You know, you you die there, and then, oh well. Uh, you know, it's not like the whole game's broken or anything. Uh, but it is kind of unfortunate. I like the chains. They're... I know, it's neat how they're, the color kind of bleeds out of them a bit. Like, they're... Uh, well, yeah, same with the uh, uh, these pillars here. You know, like somebody's you know not coloring exactly in the lines. But a nice touch. They still have those kind of uh, pencil sharpeners at schools now. I don't know, they always seem kind of old-fashioned, even, I don't know, back when I was in school. Alright, I guess this is the, uh, the last boss. Oh. So the uh, the story in the manual said that uh, he stole the uh, magic crayon, I think, that was used to draw the world. I like all the uh, little, I don't know, erasers frozen in the ceilings. Right. I guess there's the uh, the developer, uh, Nate Peters, uh, his daughter, uh, Aracelli. I do the music. We drink Ranger. Okay. Uh, I guess that's it. I don't. Oh, I thought it might uh, loop back to the title screen or something. 
yeah, so I'll put the links to it, uh, the itch.io page and everything.